Hello, my friends, and welcome back to City Skylines 2, and welcome back to Circle City 3, of course. We are days away from the Economy 2.0 update, and since it might be a while before saves are compatible or functioning correctly, I want to make sure that I can get a batch of these ready for you, so that we're not waiting two weeks to even put out any videos. Let's turn on the sun here before we get going. Because we'll have to wait for mods to update, and we'll have to wait for possibly game patches. We'll see how stable the release is. This is our first time back in Circle City 3 since adding the mods that added things like mixed farming zones and mixed EU mixed office row zones. So that's going to be fun. We'll probably start by putting some of them... Why does this road not work? <laughs> <laughs> is this one of the ones that got missed? Had the zoning break on it? When there was the issue? Yeah, okay. There was a, one of my mods didn't load. And then upon fixing the issue, anything that was zoned along those roads got kind of obliterated. Which was really unfortunate, but that's okay. Because now we get to go back and do it again. <laughs> there wasn't too much. This whole district here ended up getting busted and having to be rebuilt. Why is it so dark now? We've got four stay, right? Is this just the... If we go golden hour. I think it might just be very overcast. Oh yeah, look at those clouds. Okay. It's just winter. It's just a dark winter morning. Yeah, being able to play with some of those mixed zones is gonna change up the dynamics of the job market and the housing market in some interesting ways, I hope. So what was this? It runs underneath a rail. That's very, very high up. That would have been very expensive to make. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. But I don't dislike it. Oh, the other thing that we can do is there's like farming houses now. Oh, the weather's clearing up. No, it's not. It just isn't snowing in this... Never mind. I don't know what happened there. There was like a, sp a sp very specific spot in the map where it wasn't snowing. But yeah, what we'll do is maybe replace these ones with the farmhouses. And then there's also farming industry that we get to look at at some point as well, I think. But we don't want to put that in here. Housing. That one will make the houses very sad. No, I put houses on those turning lanes. Whatever. Let's get rid of these tall buildings, actually. This is out in the farmland. We don't need to have those out here. The farming zone, the industrial farming zone, is... It still makes pollution. It just focuses on industrial... Or on the farming industry specifically, as far as I can tell. So it will focus on the production of farm-related things. So, for example, we've got all these companies using grain. And what are they using it for? Making convenience food, probably, I think is what that is. Or there's demand for company. I don't know what to really fully understand why this keeps shooting up so high. But anyway, we'll probably want to come in here and spread out some more industry, maybe out here. Maybe we do some little farming areas in here. Now, I don't want to pack the industry too tight, because whenever you do that, all the vehicles start to get stuck. There's also some crime here, but I think we'll fix that by just putting in a row. Can I... Why is this... This is. This doesn't feel like the right kind of day. It just feels wrong. What happens if we use the in-game version of forcing day? If we turn off day-night visuals? That's better. That, that's what I wanted. And then if I turn that back on... Alright, you know what? Let's do this. And then I'll just turn it off and not touch that button. There we go. Now we can get the bright day, even though it's very overcast. I don't know why I was doing that. I'll never understand that. But this looks better now. This looks... This is what I wanted. Alright, so let's get that road. And I'm gonna put one here. I thought the in-game music was playing, but it's not. That's just winter noise. Why don't you want to snap to 90 degrees? Oh, because it would have to bridge up there. Okay, fine. We'll do it like that. And we might see some cars start to use that to cut across, and that's okay as well. But this is where I want to focus buildings there specifically for the farming industry. And we might put some little tendrils coming off of this. And if we have to, we might upgrade some of these roads to have a few, maybe some additional lanes. Like this one here looks like it's getting a little bogged down. Sometimes you put in another lane and that solves all of the world's problems. So we'll try it. And then we might do the same thing here if this gets bogged down, but it looks like this one's okay.
All right. Now, where were those little farmhouses, farm industry buildings? I want to see them whenever they come into existence. And why didn't I put them on this road? Foolish man. <laughs> All right. They're getting built now. So, yeah, these will be just very, very farm specific. So, okay. Some of them are just storage. So they store things like grain and vegetables. And some of them will actually take that grain and produce the convenience food that people are demanding or the, the textiles that people sometimes are demanding. I don't think that one's really big right now. We've got these $2 billion. I think Circle City will probably be the first one that we come back to once we're able to in the Economy 2.0 update because it has $2 billion of money to lose. It can afford to lose a little bit, but we'll see what happens. I'm gonna do something similar to this where we have a little mini grid. Do I wanna use the Mio roads? Cause maybe we could try something interesting here. I don't know if this is going to be wise or if this is going to be foolish. I just noticed I didn't have units on. There we go. Yeah, these aren't going to be great. Oh, it's on a tree. I hate that. I hate that it does that. Anyway, I was thinking of just putting in some row houses. <laughs> and I don't know how that's going to work. We've got NA mixed row commercial, which might be fun. That's why I went with these more dense roads, just in case people actually want to wind their way in here to shop. Yeah, we'll change some of these zonings, why not? Just for fun. Okay, so we don't have very much medium density demand right now, which is <laughs> going to cause a problem for filling that in. That's okay, we can always create a little low density living space over here. never wants to go where I want it to go. I might tuck office zones in here even. You like that. Some low density commercial there. And then I think we still need low density EU housing. Because this will take a while to fill in. We're going to have to wait for that medium density demand to come back into play. How, what, how, what are we doing for taxes? Have we completely paid? Are we pay, paying people to live here? Yes, we are. We're spending $20 million a month for that. That's going to probably go away in the economy update. And what industry am I charging 30% on? Plastics? Let's not do that. In fact, let's give all these industries a small tax break. And probably the same thing with offices, because we don't want them to not operate here. But we also don't want to lose money. So we'll balance that very carefully. Do we have enough external connections? I think we do. Yeah, we've got people flying in even. Yeah, look how many people are using just the buses. Trains, meh. The subway, yeah, there's not there's only two lines, but they're pretty packed. But even then, their usage isn't very full. Then yeah, we've got a lot of airlines. Airline connections here. And cargo gets moved mostly by rail, a little bit by air. It's all good. And this winter should be ending soon. It's only minus nine on average, so there's probably areas where it's I mean, it's only one city. It's, we're not going to have massive temperature differences. Massive metropolis. We do still have one more step to go. And we're about halfway there. I don't think we're going to get it today. I really don't. But we're going to come close. We should... I guess we can unlock. Who cares about intersections, honestly? The emergency battery station might be nice to have. Let's unlock that now. We're going to have all this after that last little bit. 
Oh yeah, emergency shelters. We should probably think about setting those up because that will make people happy. Oh, and then also a prison and a central intelligence bureau. Sure. And we cannot afford a space center yet. But all those are things that will make just make people happy. Okay, so first things first. Emergency battery stations. What do these do? They produce noise pollution. So let's try to keep this where our industry is. Which is where a power plant is anyway. It's hard to miss. There it is. Don't know why I had so much trouble finding it. Ah, oh, it doesn't fit. That highway's in the way. It does fit here. And then I think we do need to plug it in. Oh, it plugged itself in. Never mind. We're all good. Oh, we can also put in, like, some emergency diesel generators, just in case. This is basically a power plant in itself. In case of emergency. It does make a lot of pollution. That's okay. Sometimes you need to make a lot of pollution. I'm okay with that little bit of traffic there. That's just industrial traffic. How are things going over here? This looks fine. I always forget where I've been building. The city's gotten so big now that it's so easy to lose track of pretty much anything. I remember roughly what it looked like. Yeah, here it is. This still isn't filling in yet. It's not that the people won't be happy once they can. Oh yeah, we've got all these new buildings too that we could be looking at. But, let's put in things like a large emergency shelter. I like this because this can go along a road that's able to handle a lot of traffic. So we'll put one of those in. These handle only 25,000 people, so we need about four or five of these in the city. Do these make noise? No, of course not. That would have been silly. We're going to put down a few more than we actually end up needing. Just because I think that's important for our people. I'm actually going to replace these large buildings here. I realize that's going to displace a lot of people. They're all going to take some selfies. My house used to be here, and now it's a, a vault. Now I'm homeless. I will just move into another home. Yeah, it does, it does not take long for that to happen. And then, do these need to be spread out throughout the city? or No, they're citywide. Okay. Think of this more disaster alert time. I'm going to put this near the nuclear plant because I feel like <laughs> this is where you would want it. You would want to know if there was a disaster happening here pretty quickly. And then we need a prison. I say need, but it's more of a want. We want a prison. Put it out here in the industrial area, out by whatever this is. The, the post office. We'll think about extending the prison wing if we need to, but I think we're okay for now. And then we want this investigation bureau, or intelligence bureau. This reduces the crime in the whole city, which makes it pretty special. Look at how quickly our money refills whenever we spend a, a big chunk of it. Do we need any more welfare offices? I think our coverage of that's pretty good. So yeah, getting rid of some of those tall buildings has increased our medium density demand, and... Are these also the... these aren't the... oh no, they are. They're residential commercials, so they will chip away at that little blue bar, which then fills back up pretty quickly. No, oh, we've got a fire. Looks like an accident. There's a lot of ambulances and a lot of airlifting going on here. Where are we going? No, it's just here. We might go back out again, though, so let's stay with this helicopter. Yeah, there we go. Man, this is... Okay, so I guess there's just some sort of horrible emergency happening there. Where was that? Just follow the sound of the sirens. Was this a big accident? Let me see if it's in our log here, event journal. 
I don't see... Oh, car accident casualties. 60? That must be this one. It has to be. Look at how many ambulances are here. And then another one with 39. This has to be the... Maybe a combined... It was a delivery van. And... An electric bus. Oh, it was a bus. A whole bus full of people. Oh my gosh, that's... Tragic. It's gone now, I can't even find it again. Anyway, we'll just let that deal with itself. I don't know why all the helicopters are still here, I guess they're... Busy. Oh, they're all here for... Different Lindas. Where is she? Oh, she's in there. Oh, there's still Ned- Well, he got picked up by an ambulance, he'll be fine. Okay, that was exciting. What an exciting day in Circle City. That'll be all over the news. Whatever happened there. I think we probably want to be creating some more jobs. We've got more jobs than we have people, but we do have unemployment. That's always so difficult to balance. Unless I'm willing to go into the loom and find out exactly which level of employment is missing. I can never fully understand how I'm supposed to read this. I don't know. So these are just normal row houses. We could probably replace a row of these with some of those new row houses. We do offices. I almost want to get rid of these. Get rid of this zoning here. Replace it with maybe medium density again. I feel like maybe we have too many high density, especially because this is such a narrow road or small road. But we might have too much high density representation just splashed around in places where it doesn't need to be. Look, these buildings are all abandoned, so maybe that's a problem. And since they're all coming down anyway, it's an opportunity to put something new in. Of course, now there's no demand. Now all the demand is for this high density. But that's okay, because they'll just there's just less buildings to move to now. Yeah, the issue is that there's unoccupied buildings of all levels. <laughs> I don't know, I'm going to be curious to see if our city is prepared for Economy 2.0. Once we're able to get back into it, we'll probably want to wait for Mio Roads for sure. That'll need to be updated first. Uh, ideally, these ones here that are adding these new zones, we'd like to see those updated, but I'm not going to wait three weeks for them if that's how long out they're going to take. The traffic mod is essential, the lane connection tool and the traffic lights manager, and so is... May as well just look at my mods. The extra tiles tied to milestones. I think we want that. Land value overhaul. We'll be able to turn that off. I don't even know what this does. It's just running at default settings as far as I can tell. Same with this one. This is just running at default settings. Population rebalance. So traffic simulation adjuster. We can play without it. It'll make the game easier to, to not have it running. Water features take it or leave it. Everything's already set up with the water now. First person camera, yeah, be nice to have. Info loom, nice to have. Extended tooltip, better bulldozer. There's a lot of nice to haves, and then there's a lot of essential, there's a handful of essentials, so I consider traffic lights enhancement and traffic as essential. These are all default settings. I don't know what any of them do. Same with this one. I turned on these for default, and it doesn't, doesn't seem to work anyway. I could do force all nodes to update, but I'm terrified to push that. <laughs> so many lights. The other essential ones are just none of them. Just the traffic ones. Population rebalance, I'm fine without. Traffic simulation adjuster, I'm fine without. Anarchy, I can live without it for a little bit. Yeah, we're fine. We'll probably also start a new city as soon as the patch comes out. That will be vanilla. I'm thinking... I'm not going to spoil it. I'll just leave it as a surprise. I have an idea. It is going to be geometric in style, but that's all I really want to say. Yeah, it'll be some fun geometry going on. Mixed farming zones. Where can we put some of these? Are these farms? These are farms. Yeah. Okay. Let's use Mio Road so we can get away with some four lanes here. Yeah, you won't have to worry about not having any content post update at least so that's nice and there'll be a few of the by the time you see this i'll bet whatever that new city is that i'm talking about that one might already be out by the time this video comes out this video might come out long after you're already watching a new city in the new patch i often forget about that about the way that the timeline is going to work here just because of how i batch record for 
my sanity mostly, but also so that I don't have a period where I don't have any videos to give you. I might connect these like this. Yeah, either way, I'll find a way to get some city skylines. There'll, there'll be city skyline stuff coming out leading up to and after you. Like I said, this this is going to come out and you're going to be saying that you've already been playing this new patch for a week. Maybe we'll see how long. I don't know if I don't know if I've got a, a week's worth of backlogging right now. I don't think I do. So I like these farming mixed farming industrial because they satisfy industrial demand without creating pollution. I think. I think they do. Ooh, I wonder if we could make a city using this that has no pollution. It's obviously too late for Circle City. And it would require us importing all of the other polluting industries. But we could make a proper farming city, potentially. Again, it's going to be post-update. You probably won't see it for a while. Or maybe you'll already have seen it. Who knows? Now that it's in my head. No, I don't think you'll have seen it yet, honestly. Man, it, this winter will never end. I guess it started early. It's only December. I don't know why I'm getting so worked up about it. We're pretty... We might actually hit this final milestone today. Oh, we got new parks, too. Let's put some of these in. Little 4x12 parks. Do these have extensions or anything like that? No, they don't. There's also new schools and stuff from these mods that are pretty fun. They take up very little space. So I can come in here and be like, okay, there's some space here. So why don't we just fill in some of our education? We can even go row college, row university too. Like we can have everything over here. This is all of the game's schools crammed into these tiny little buildings. Look at that. Love to see it. I've also noticed that my overlays aren't showing correctly. What have I turned on or off for that to happen? different mod. Doesn't work the way that I want it to, though, because now I can't see. Okay, that works. Okay, so I can do it like this. Is there anywhere that we need healthcare? This road here, but there's nothing on it. So not really. No, we've got disaster control now. Oh, we should probably put a little shelter over here, probably. A little one. Put another big one in. Let me put some out here in the middle of nowhere. Why does this road have no disaster control, shelter availability? I'm sure it's not that important. Alright, I've seen enough of that. What else do we have? Happiness. Is there anywhere that people are blatantly unhappy? No, the people love Circle City, except for this road. What is this road? Oh, it's a Mio road that's gone dark. There we go, I fixed it. And all these intersections are probably busted. Nah, eh, they're okay, actually. Just wanted to make sure. That was cutting off traffic from being able to flow through there, but I don't think that was a, an important through road anyway. What's happened over here? Oh, disaster. And because you can't repair little buildings like that, those just are permanently broken. That might be a thing that comes as a fix in the patch as well. It's a big incineration plant. Probably making a lot of pollution. We might not even need it. Oh, we can also put in these scrap metal recycling centers. They produce metal. That's pretty cool. And they boost industry. I like that they use these cars from the muscle car garage. <laughs> in fact, that does look like it might just be the muscle car garage crammed in there. Know where that is anymore. Oh, we've got a Dunder Mifflin as well. Why don't we put one of these little guys in? There we go. A little paper factory. A little paper office. It's technically a commercial building. They sell paper. Oh, these are f uh, farming zones too. Seems like a nice little opportunity for us to put down more of these little mixed farming zones. They're big too. I guess they need to be because they have a whole farm attached to them. What's our internet coverage look like? 
Actually, what's our postal coverage look like? We still have some areas with bad postal coverage. Although the buildings seem to indicate that they're getting their mail collected. I still want to put in some mailboxes. Yeah, they've got mail accumulation in some of these buildings. I don't know why. What is this? Switch on. This road needs an upgrade. There's so much traffic on it. It's getting dark even though we've got time locked. I wonder if that's how the game balances day and night. Even if you have always day. <laughs> I don't know, actually. Why it seems to... Maybe it's just winter. These are just the winter glooms. What's going on over here? Nobody wants to live in these houses. Why? Walking distance to elementary school. Watch this. Same with the poor healthcare coverage. Your walking distance to elementary school woes have been solved because there's one right here and it supports 100 students. <laughs> and they've got better healthcare coverage now too because we put in a small clinic in a row house. People can live there too, I think. Actually, I don't know if they can. It is a row house. No, I guess they can't. It wouldn't just be like the bottom floor is the clinic and then people live upstairs. There's no way they would do it like that. Same with the school. <laughs> we have a few buildings here that are abandoned. What is the reason for this? High noise pollution. It's probably just that people haven't found an opportunity to move in over here yet. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to put off this milestone, the Megalopolis milestone, for another time because I'm running out of time here. We might still get another Circle City video in the pre-economy update world, so we'll see. This might not be the end of our goal to hit Megalopolis. In fact, we will hit it next time. I, I'm like 90% sure that I'm going to get another Circle City video done before the economy update comes out, so don't worry. But for now, if you've actually enjoyed this visit to Circle City, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, leave a like on this video, leave a comment, send your prayers for the survival of Circle City in a post-economy update. <laughs> And of course, if you're new here and you haven't done so yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell for notifications so you can find out when new videos get posted. We'll be back in Circle City again, either before or after the economy update. Doesn't really matter, but we will be back. We've not seen the last of Circle City 3. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope I see you back again next time. Goodbye for now. <laughs>